wood filament. We meet again. Hey everybody, this is Fedor with 3D Print SOS. Welcome back to the channel. Recently, I did a poll asking which filament you would like to see me print next on the Kula 3D printer. And thank you to 240 plus of you guys that voted. Uh, 25 or 35% uh, of you said uh, wood PLA. So here we are. I've printed with this stuff before and uh, I've had mixed luck. I, although I do really, really like the result of this filament. For me personally, it has been really hard to print. Uh, I think one of the main things about this filament is it likes to flow and it doesn't like to stop or go slow because it gets kind of like burnt in the tip and as soon as it overheats, it clogs almost instantly. Same with retractions. If there's too much retraction, it just stops it dead in its tracks and it clogs your entire system. And that has been the case so far. So hopefully the next time you see me, I'm actually showcasing some really cool prints. But let me show you some of the ones that I did print. This one was printed on the custom machine uh, that's above me right now. It is a jewelry box that I printed for my daughter. And this stuff is actually uh, wood stained. And one of the cool things about it is some of the imperfections that end up happening, some layer lines that you see, uh, actually end up making it look more like wood grain. So that's really cool. I suggest you check out this uh, wooden box. It has hidden compartments, has a, a key inside to open it. It's really neat and makes a really, really cool gift. Uh, one of the things I printed on the ANET ET5X uh, was actually this handle uh, for this camera rig that I designed. And the texture is really nice. This one I did no post-processing to. It has this nice, um, you know, kind of like, almost like a uh, non-slip texture to it. Um, and it's matte in nature. And it just looks really cool. It actually looks like wood, for sure. So it, it is a really fun filament to print. And I've just personally had really bad luck with it. And I've had trouble, honestly, setting up a profile for these things. So hopefully the next time, like I said, you guys see me printing cool stuff and I get to show some things off. My goal with this video is going to be to stick with a 0.4 millimeter nozzle, even though this would be much, much easier with a 0.5 or 0.6, uh, because majority of you are going to have that. And I wanna make a profile that's kind of like a base uh, that you guys can pop in and only maybe need to make slight tweaks. Maybe it'll just work right out of the box. That's the goal. I'm starting from scratch and I'm having a lot of trouble, but let's see what I can do. All right. See you guys soon. All right. So it's day five of printing wood on the Aquila. Um, as you can see, I'm filling up this bag further and further with failed prints. I haven't had a single success yet. Uh, however, uh, just for more testing, I decided to print it on my custom printer back here and it's printing perfectly fine on the first attempt, which automatically means that this, this particular filament likes 0.5 millimeter nozzles. Uh, I'm still trying to keep uh, 0.4 millimeter on the Aquila. That's just what I like uh, to print at on that particular printer because of its size. So I'm not gonna change it to a 0.5. However, I'm not giving up on wood just yet. I think I can order a different roll from a different brand uh, in hopes that it has a uh, smaller uh, wood grain in it, I guess. So it's not just going to get jammed. Uh, this thing this is the first print without ma making any changes. It's already on the third uh, layer. No issues at all whatsoever. So I know it's not that roll of filament, which I thought it was. I tried to dry it. I tried every single temperature uh, possible between um, you know 180 and 240. Uh, I tried different uh, bed uh, temperatures. Um, everything short of changing any hardware on the Aquila. So at least I now know that it, the filament just likes a larger uh, nozzle, which is typical with this type of filament. So I'm gonna try another one and uh, I'm gonna place an order right now. So I'll see you in a day or two. Let's see how it goes. All right, Amazon coming through with the same day delivery on this uh, iSend Mate uh, PLA Plus with 20% wood. As you can see behind me, it's printing perfectly fine. First try, it's on the uh, third layer now with zero issues, which is really nice. Um, it just proves that more filament with more wood in it requires a larger nozzle. 0.5 millimeter, which is what I had at the top printer, uh, printed absolutely perfectly, zero issues right away, first try. Um, I'm sure with a 0.6 millimeter nozzle, it would be even better. You're just gonna lose a little bit of accuracy if you go and do that. If you're trying to stick with a stock Aquila, 
uh, with a 0.4 millimeter nozzle. It looks like something like this filament uh, that has 20% uh, wood instead of 30 is the way to go. No modifications were made to the profile I was previously trying to work on. It just works right away. Um, so, you know, no complaints there. I'm gonna let this thing run overnight because it is already pretty late here. And uh, I'll take some footage whenever I can. Next time you guys will see me is in the conclusion. Uh, and there'll be a profile linked in the description. Awesome, see you there. Next day, looks like the print is complete. And uh, it looks to be pretty decent. I think it's under extruding just the hair, but that's because I actually had it set to 95% flow uh, because it was over uh, extruding previously. So yeah, I mean, this stuff is definitely lighter than the walnut color. This kind of looks just like I mean, just light wood. Um, I'm not gonna exactly say which type of wood, just looks like a light brown. Uh, definitely has a matte feel to it. Kind of a little bit of a texture going on. Um, definitely not absolutely perfect, uh, but not bad at all. I see nothing weird, nothing that, that can't be cleaned up. There's a little bit of stringing here and there, but that's kind of typical of uh, wood filament anyway. Outside of that, yeah, it looks like the top layer here is just a little bit under extrude. So the next print I'm gonna do, I'm gonna run it at 100% and see how it goes. Um, let me go ahead and start the next print. This is looking good. And just like that, about five days later, we have ourselves a profile for printing wood on the Aquila 3D printer. Uh, this filament was really easy to print with uh, because of that 20% uh, uh, wood uh, aspect of the filament. Now, the amylin that I was printing with earlier has a much darker color, that walnut color. Uh, I think both of these brands actually carry a different color wood filament, which is nice, so you can choose what you want. Uh, but the previous roll that I was trying before that I had trouble with printed absolutely flawlessly on a 0.5 millimeter nozzle. So if you don't mind upgrading your nozzle or you already have a printer with a larger nozzle, you will be good to go with all sorts of varieties of, of wood uh, filament. However, if you're sticking to a 0.4 millimeter, you're gonna want to find something like this um, Isenmate uh, PLA Plus that has 20% uh, infill or uh, wood fill rather. Uh, so even though it, you know, even though it's 20%, it should still take on some stain if that's something that you're trying to do uh, because the ac actual bits of wood in the plastic are gonna be, you know, those are the things that are gonna get dyed. But yeah, really enjoying what this came out. I'm actually gonna clean this up and, and start another print uh, with this stuff. But let me, let me try to show you uh, a close up of how this came out. Let's see if we can focus, here we go. Yeah, so you can see the texture here. It has these layer lines that end up looking, uh, you know, exactly like wood. And uh, I think one of the best parts about it is the feel. Uh, when you print in plastic, uh, shiny plastic, it has this plastic feel. I know that's crazy how I'm trying to describe this, uh, but this wood has this like uh, texturized matte feeling um, it's just pleasant. You can kind of hear it when I rub it. Um, it's just much more pleasant to hold. So if you have something like this where you're trying to print a handle for something, uh, give this wooden uh, filament a try. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. 
And as a bonus, it smells like wood when you print this stuff. And ah, yeah, it, it retains that a little bit. Not much though. Um, overall, really happy I found this stuff. And now it's just another thing that we can print on our Aquila uh, 3D printers. Just another filament in the arsenal. Uh, this printer is an absolute beast. I've been really happy with it. So, guys, thank you for watching. Uh, give this video a like. If you know somebody who will find this useful, send them a link. Uh, as always, I'm going to try to put the um, profile uh, download in the description. Um, you know, Check out my links. They are affiliate links. I'll be linking both the filaments. Um, it doesn't cost you anything to use them, but it does give a tiny little kickback uh, to me if you choose to buy um, those things through my links, and it helps this channel grow. So I really appreciate it. All right, guys, as always, I'll see you in the comments.